Do you know when Jigsaw Flex is gonna upload another video? Kinda miss his stuff. Dude, he's about to record right now. Yeah, dude, be quiet. The show's about to start. Dude, he's coming! Everyone hide! Oh, 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 ah! Yo, what is going on guys? Jigsaw Flex here, back with another YouTube video. So, sorry about being able to upload for the past like four days. I know I said I was gonna upload another video after, if you're a social gamer, consider going to PAX East. So, basically, I've been sick for the past four days, and my voice was terrible, I was like sneezing, like <laughs> So, the main point of the video is not about me being sick. Like, I know I have like, other things to talk about, like, why well, I haven't been uploading, not only because of sick and also because of school. But, but, the main point is, today's video is going to be about my PAX East 2017 pickups. And I know you guys are probably already wondering what I got over there since I've been there for three days and like, yo, you gotta get some cool stuff over there because sometimes they don't have the same things that you would get like in a normal like gaming store. So I'm gonna be basically sharing you guys everything I got and I'm gonna be basically starting off with the posters because I got posters that were $10 each. So basically, I bought five and only for $50, and I think they're a good size. I don't even know what the sizes are, actually. They're, they're pretty big. So, um, the first thing is that these are all inside this poster case. I brought a poster case to PAX East. I was carrying it around basically the whole day for two days straight. I didn't do it for the last day, so all these are over here. So one by one, I'm gonna show you guys briefly what kind of posters I got. In honor of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that's coming out next month, April 28th, I got a Mario Kart 8 poster. Woo, look, look at that. Look at that baby. It's all kind of rolled up and scrunched a little bit, but uh, it's the box cover of the original Mario Kart 8 game on the Wii U. It has, uh, as you can see, uh, Mario, Peach, all the way over there on the side. Man, this is so bright. And we have Bowser, Luigi on the top. It's the same box art, basically. And yeah, it's a moderately good size. It's kind of huge. Like, you can see the comparison with me and stuff like that. So that's the first poster. All right, I know some of you don't know much about me, but for those who do, you guys know that I actually like Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. So I copped myself the Wind Waker logo that's actually, uh, on the Wii U box too. So you got Toon Link over there and like all the other characters in the game. You have Ganondorf, uh, Ganon up there, all the way on top. Uh, I really hope it's, too why is this so bright? All right, I think you can see it a lot better when I zoom out over here. So here it is, really cool, same size. On to the next one. So this one's a little bit different. This one's on a landscape type of thing. Uh, so Super Mario Bros. 3. I really like Super Mario Bros. 3. I have it on the 3DS and it's it plays really well. Like, I never really got into it when I played it when I was younger. I didn't even own a NES to begin with or even a Game Boy. Actually, I had a Game Boy, but I only had like two games and then like my mom sent it to the Philippines like after like two years of me not playing it that much. So I never played that much, but really good game. Uh, got into it really late, but uh, I like it a lot. I like the poster. It's really cool. I think I could like put this somewhere dope. Maybe not in my room because it's so like wide and everything else is like in a portrait view. So I'm probably gonna put it like downstairs in like the living room just to like put it there or maybe even our I guess you would call it a den. I don't know, we call it a den, but uh, it has, it's a plant room. Yay, where plants are. Whoa, I'm gonna show you guys. Tip. You guys know what it is yet? Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna see it right now. All right, so cool. We got Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Beautiful artwork. I really like the uh, art style on this one really like the colors are really cool Like I like all the purple and blue and you can see all the characters link being all so cool in the middle with his mask and everything I really like this a lot the 3ds uh, 3ds box art is really cool So and we got skull kid like just chilling on the top. All right, so I'm about to share you guys my favorite out of the five This one is pretty dope so, if you guys are not ready for it, click off the video. But stay, stay, but stay. I know, it's contradictory. Stay. All right, so. Ooh, baby. Look at this. Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds. I have never played the game before. I personally think the colors are really good. Like, look at them. Look at the style. Look at it. Look at the drawings. It's beautiful, like, you guys probably have seen it before. Obviously, 
they're all like box art type of uh, posters. But like, they're so legit and everything and like cool because they actually feel like real posters and stuff. They're on like sometimes the things you get from Amazon and they feel like a little different, or like silk ones or something. But uh, this is my favorite one. I'm gonna definitely hang this somewhere in my room. Somewhere where I can find room. Maybe take one down. I don't wanna take down the Palutena one. Okay, so now with the posters out of the way, I can actually show you guys smaller stuff that's actually easier to show. So here we are. The next thing we have is this Overwatch hat. Oh boy, look, Overwatch. Like, I'm not really that good at Overwatch. I'm not good at FPS to begin with, but I really like that hat and I do enjoy Overwatch just as a casual gamer. So having a snapback, a black one especially, because I want a black snapback, is perfect because one of my friends that was with me at the expo hall, we basically just decided, hey, let's get an Overwatch hat because we saw it right there randomly. So I was like, hey, why not buy it? It's pretty legit actually. Like I know my friend Patrick has one too. And I think my friend Brandon told me that he doesn't like his because his isn't legit. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's the difference. I think it might be like how so this is or something, but here it is Overwatch. You see the logo on the back and you know adjustable strap over here and yeah all black i think what have been really cool is if they made this orange over here because uh i, I don't know i kind of like two color type of hats so what can you do all right so i'm holding really small stuff right now so bear with me if this takes a long time to focus but we have a one two switch uh pin this pin is actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, only took like a while, but here's the one, two switch pin I got from the Nintendo booth at PAX. It's really cool of a game. I like the HD rumble a lot. However, this broke. This is one of the original pins that I have. I, I lost like a few of my other pins, two of my pins, sadly, the ones I really like, but I was able to cop one that I uh, was able to get again, but I will show that in a later span. Snipper Clips is the next one. I don't know why I played it again. There was a guy that was like, hey, let's play Snipper Clips. And I was like, oh, I don't want to play Snipper Clips, but I feel like he hasn't played it and he wants to play it. So I was a nice person and basically played it, you know? <laughs> so, you know, what can you do? I got a free clip. So here it is. And it's not focusing. I'm just gonna toss it away anyway, so. All right, so this is probably like the best thing I actually got next to the Link Between Worlds poster. Now, um, before I talk about this one, I did actually get an arms pin, but I lost that one, which is one of the pins that I lost at PAX. Like, they all fell apart, like, from my backpack. So I will never, never put pins again on my backpack. So this pin I was able to cop again, this, this one. So this one is a Nintendo Switch pin that won't focus, so I'm gonna get out of the frame. Nintendo Switch, right over there. The collector's pin, basically. Really cool, like, I love it a lot. Like, this is the one that's actually, like, legit looking. It has, like, all the metal on as a frame and stuff like that. You see the back, um, you have it. You can just, like, pin it somewhere that's able to be pinned. And you can't really read that. It says 2017 Nintendo. The rest is just kind of gibberish. But it is the collector's pin. It's really nice. Um, you can actually get this if you were invited to the Nintendo Switch private party in Nintendo New York. Felt really cool getting the Nintendo Switch pin because I was able to get it. And you can't really get it that much anywhere else. So maybe you can get it somewhere else. I don't know. But like, I know some people have this like in a little box and stuff like that. And I'm kind of jealous they have a little box because I want to keep it there. And I don't know where else I would pin this besides the lanyard that I put it on pack. So yeah really good item. I, I will never sell this ever. Like, I love the Switch. I love Zelda. Revolutionary! So this next one is a Smash Bros pin that I got also at the Expo Hall. I didn't actually pay for this. Uh, my friend Mikey, aka Don't Poke Your Eyes Out, uh, bought this for me. I saw this pin. I was like, pin. I was like, dude, Mikey, this is really cool. I'm gonna buy this. And he's like, you want it? I'm like, yeah. I want it. And he got it for me, and I was like, dude, thanks for the gift, Mikey. I will definitely get him something. Mark my words, Mikey. I, I will get you something similar to this. So, yeah. It Oh, it has these two, like, little pins in the back where you're able to pin it whatever you want. I wasn't able to put it on my lanyard. It was too thick. So, not only did I get pins and posters, I got t-shirts. Woo! 
these shirts, woo! Alright, so the first one that I got was this ukulele shirt. I like it a lot. I like Banjo-Kazooie and it will match my H&M off-white pants. By the way, guys, I, I, I like fashion too, so... <laughs> sorry if I sound like a girl at times talking about clothes. So, I like the purple on it a lot. Uh, I don't know what this is. I, I, I don't know anything about ukulele at the moment. I kind of want to play it blind. I'm not sure if I don't want to get it on the Switch, but it's going to come out, I believe, in a different date than the one on Steam. So it all depends how much I want to wait for it. But it's really cool. It says Retro Arcade. Awesome. Oh, Retro is Arcade. That's what it is. And they have this cool guy, and he's holding a token, I'm guessing. And as you can tell, it's an arcade machine. Highly recommend. If you guys are really interested, um, Fangamer.net is the name of the website, or .com, oh no, sorry, Fangamer.com. Here it is, the pamphlet that I got over there after purchasing my two shirts. Um, they just give you like a small selection of what you can probably get. You can probably get more in the future, honestly, if you really want to. Um, there's, and there's definitely more you can browse through in the website. So these are just like little pictures of shirts that you can get and like some posters. So check them out. All right, so the next item that I got is an underdog scarf. Lesser dog, if you know who he is, is from Undertale. This is a really cool scarf um, I saw at a wall, the same place in Fan Gamer booth. And I saw, I loved it a lot. It's a really different type of scarf because you see a face there and you see literally his like armor and body like right here. It's so cute. It's so cute. And I saw the cashier lady wearing this too and it looked really nice on her. And I was like, should I get this? It looks good on her, but like, will it look good on me? Eh. The Midnight Channel from Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. So if you are a fan of Persona or just Persona 4, you'll get what I mean when I say The Midnight Channel. And you can actually see Teddy in the middle right over there and it says Mayunaka Television, which is the name of the program in the game. So it's really cool if you like Persona. I like how it's a very neutral color. Gray, I have a lot of grays, so they can match in anything. Flannels whatsoever and like other dark like sweatshirts and stuff like that that you want to show. The last part, you guys could actually just like end the video here if you really want to, but there's the PAX badge and this is the... F what do you call this? Lanyard I got over there for free. Uh, it's a PlayStation. Let's see if I can find one that's actually straight and upright. All right, the PlayStation. 20th anniversary lanyard. I also got the 20th anniversary PlayStation 4 theme or PlayStation theme on my PS4. So I could tell definitely it's like the same thing. And what's on these are pins, little cool pins that I got from the place too. So this first pin is a Star Fox pin that I got from Fan Gamer. When you purchase all your stuff from there, you get a token each time you purchase something. So I was able to get this from a little capsule. This next one is this Legend of Zelda one. It's really cool. It's all yellow and like a dark brown-ish color. You can't really tell. It's like dark brown, but they're both the same. They were able to fit in the lanyard, so I was like, why not keep them there? I don't know where else to put them. Not putting in the backpack. Not putting in the backpack, I swear. Never again. These two are, if I can like look at the lens instead of up here, because I'm a noob. <laughs> These two pins I got from the t-shirts. This one is a Yasugami High School pin from Persona 4. It's a really cool touch. Let me go focus more on it just because. All right, you can see a little bit of it. <laughs> has the sparkles, has that Persona 4 vibe. It's all yellow and orangey and has sparkles. Yeah, uh, really cool. And the next one I got is probably this little token that you get from ukulele. Like that dinosaur thing in my shirt was holding this type of uh, token. It's a little triangle. Oh, it's probably the currency anyway in the game too because uh, I remember seeing lots of triangles in that game. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to spoil myself in the game. So please be very light in the comments. If you tell me, oh, you don't know ukulele, I'm going to tell you everything. <laughs> and this last pin, no one really cares about. So I don't even know what this is. Stone Hearth? Stone Hearth. I don't know. I don't know this game at all. This game is like different. Um, it's something people were selling 
uh, basically, that's selling. Actually, they were just giving it up for free. I was like, dude, I'll take a free pin. And I actually got a lanyard that matched this pin. I really like the drawing though. It kind of reminds me of people drawing like Minecraft art on YouTube. So I guess that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please support me if you guys really like my channel and everything that's in it. So. I really like the support and much appreciate if you guys leave some comments below regarding this trip, regarding anything like, hey, how are you? And whatever, whatever it may be. I like, love interaction and I hope to see you guys in other videos soon. So without further ado, Jigsaw Flex signing out for now with my lesser dog scarf. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Woo!